Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. As always, it is Nick here, back to your daily crypto news and analysis. And today we are going to be talking about Hedera and HBARS. With that being said, I hope that you're all having a beautiful day or a beautiful night if you guys are out there in the world. So as we do look at tokenization, some of the, you know, cliche things that we really kind of focus on is more so real estate, um, you know, finance focus like treasuries, stable coins, CBDCs, things like that. Um, but what about the other things, right? I do think that Hedera is leading the way towards those other things that are not so pretty for most people to uh, talk about. Because again, like as we look at finance, there's obviously a lot of money around the financial space and around real estate and things like that to really kind of talk about when it comes to tokenization. Um, but there is other areas. And these other areas is where Hedera, in my opinion, is really going to shine because it seems as though they are already ahead of the rest, um, really kind of targeting this and focused on it. Now, we've been addressing this for a little bit of time, um, but some of those big categories are like music, for an example. The music industry is ripe for disruption, especially around tokenization. Um, but then also we have luxury and brands, right? Like these brands around fashion and luxury, uh, they are moving heavy on tokenization because they also see a lot of value behind it, especially for their clients. So let's actually talk about it. Let's address it. So over here we have from the HBR Foundation, um, this year at Milan's prestigious uh, Salon del Mobile event, 25,000 plus attendees attended the Baxter ID RWA authentication and engagement solution powered by Mutech and built out on Hedera. Now, for those that out there that don't know, uh, Milan is one of four of the major luxury uh, capitals out there in terms of fashion. Um, and this is a massive event with over 25,000 plus attendees attending it. Uh, it really kind of shows you um, that there is a massive market for this. It, it shows you how big of a market there is for this as well. Um, but also remember, right, as we look at fashion and luxury brands, think about how much money is behind these things. Think about how much money is out there in the world of fashion and luxury as well. Down here we have Baxter ID um, encapsulates the unique journey of every Baxter design connecting traditional Italian artisanship with a new layer of digital engagement that acknowledges originality, guarantees providence, and allows for an exclusive access point to, to uh, bespoke content and experiences. And here we have a little bit of a, you know, image or a video, sorry, of uh, the event and what it looks like. And here we have the Baxter ID app is an all-in-one portal to authentic uh, authenticity, sorry, where a single scan brings Baxter's Italian cra uh, craftsmanship history and personalized content straight to the end user. And here we have how uh, this looks in terms of the actual application on, of course, a mobile phone. This is on the Apple Store or even the Google Play Store. Then down here we have each part of the Baxter collection is matched with a secure blockchain-based digital certificate of authenticity given collectors instant access to provenance and connected experiences. And here we have it actually in um, in work, right? Like this is live in person of how it actually works. Uh, you can see the scan. Um, you can see the event itself. Pretty uh, solid event. Also love the overall setup here that they had. Um, just kind of shows you how big um, this, actual, this company actually is. Now, if we go um, to some of these brands behind Mutech, for example, if we actually go over to their website, we can see how big this player is becoming around brands and also even luxury fashion. So we are met with this. Now, we've broken this company down in the past, right? We've talked about this. I think it goes all the way back to um, 2022, I believe. But here we have luxury fashion brands are now uh, reaping the rewards in terms of, you know, the metaverse um, and also just, you know, things inside of the metaverse, talking about more so buying shoes in the metaverse, things like that. And whether or not you want to think that the metaverse is cool or not, it doesn't matter, right? There's always going to be an audience for something out there. And I do think that the metaverse will see a large amount of adoption, especially if we're talking about, you know, those that are coming from like the gaming scene, they want to get in on the metaverse. Uh, we already know that there has been a large amount of growth around the metaverse as well. Down here, we have our core mission, bridging offline and offline as well. Really kind of bringing um, digital items onto uh, on-chain, essentially. And we have uh, Mew is committed to elevating the perception of authenticity in the luxury market by creating a seamless, scalable bridge of trust between brands and consumers. We ensure each product's legitimacy is verifiable, ultimately enhancing the luxury uh, experience as a whole. And then down here we have what we do. Our blockchain-driven solution authenticates luxury product origins, offering a scalable 
secure and user-friendly tool for brands and consumers to verify the authenticity of their purchases. Here we have the scalable authentic authentication, sorry, solutions, product identity certification, enterprise ready app adaptivity, green blockchain solutions, and also non-disruptive integration. And uh, here we have innovation solute or innovative uh, solutions for product authentication processes. Here's where you have the blockchain enabled verification, which is all through Hedera, unified brand customer uh, platform, and then also the Mew interactive product labels. Now, like I said, they already are working with uh, some pretty big brands like over here we have Baxter ID for an example as being one of the big ones um, but outside of this if we go over to their website and we actually go to their about us section we can see a little bit more about their um, background so number one 50 plus years manufacturing experience 20 plus years of IP management experience and then also 20 plus years tech development experience this is a company that has been around the fashion and the luxury fashion space for a very, very long time. They've been working with some of the most prominent names out there. And Baxter is just another company that you could add to the list concerning the fact that this is a company that has been around for well over 20 plus years. If you actually go over to their website and you see a breakdown, they have been around since roughly 1990. It's actually a little bit over roughly like 30 years now. Um, and they have been absolutely killing the game in terms of quality. You could check out some of the stuff that they have on their uh, website. For example, they offer sofas and armchairs, beds, tables, chairs, you name it. This is a luxury brand around furniture again as we look at luxury it doesn't have to be just clothing it can be anything it could be furniture it could be cars you name it like anything of value could very well be tokenized and uh, this is exactly where we really kind of start now outside of this we already know that fashion brands are starting to heavily tokenize things through specific things with nfts for example the tokenization of physical fashion items is another promising application of nfts in the fashion and luxury industry by creating nfts that represent physical clothing accessories or other products brands can establish a secure digital record of ownership provenance and authenticity for these items and yes as we look at this right look at all of the luxury fashion brands that got into nfts in 2023 for example, if we scroll down, you have Prada, you have Gucci. I, I mean, guys, there, there's so many major brands out there that are in on the tokenization and NFT space, and it's only going to continue to grow and grow and grow. I also know outside of this, you also have companies like Adidas and Nike that are already in on NFTs and tokenization and have been since going all the way back to 2021. We also know Ducati, right, is tokenizing and utilizing NFTs through the XRP ledger. Like this is only going to continue to grow and grow and grow. And I think that outside of this, as we start to see Web3 adoption really heating up, things like this are only going to boom in a much larger way. Now, outside of this post, let's actually look at some other things happening on Hedera, like for example, on Think.ai. This is a um uh, it, this is more so a use case that is focused on the e-commerce side of things, but it's also around um, tokenization and NFTs. We have about roughly 85 brands in travel, fashion, luxury, and beauty, 37 NFTs created and issued on the Hedera network, 35 creators building brand-centric communities. Now, I don't know the last time um, that these statistics got updated, um, but we do know that this is another great opportunity around NFTs and tokenization. We also know that Content creators um, are now starting to move towards Web3. Uh, and this is all through NFTs and also other opportunities around Web3 technologies and even AI technologies, which is a huge thing to focus on. But down here, we actually have how Unthink incentivizes content creators, brand advocates, and consumers with non fungible token rewards for actions leading to a sale or conversion. This built in loyalty program encourages, encourages uh, user engagement. And yes, as we look at e-commerce, as we look at pretty much almost every single industry out there, it will be transformed through tokenization. And um, as we look at tokenization, it's not just about finance. Look beyond that. I mean, obviously, Hedera is a big name in terms of the finance space as well for tokenization. But these use cases are huge. Now, outside of this, remember AR Raman, which, by the way, guys, this is an individual that has over 24 million followers, an absolute giant in the India market. Now, this, this individual is actually in the music industry. And recently, 
right? We have a new collaboration with AR with, of course, the HBAR Foundation. And we have Welcome to the Hedera um, you know, community, AR Ramen. And now down here we have There Are Six New Stars in the Sky. A new vo voyage uh, begins, built out on Hedera and fueled by HBAR and Web3. Join me on our mission to the Secret Mountain. Stay tuned for more on February 14th. Now, we actually know what this announcement was, and it was this announcement over here. Now, before I play this video, it's about roughly four minutes and 35 seconds long. I also want to introduce you guys to this announcement uh, with AR as well, going all the way back to January of 2022, when we got the first announcement that they were actually collaborating. And this is around creating content for a new NFT platform that supports India's independent music community. Again, all around tokenization NFTs within the music industry. Now, as we also scroll down, by the way, this kind of gives you a little bit of a breakdown behind AR. If you guys did want to go check it out, you guys are more than welcome to. Um, but let's go over here to this announcement and uh, watch closely on what this is. It's very interesting. Hey, I'm Luna. Let me tell you a story. Like most of us, I've been wandering the jungles of instant gratification, dooms of scrolling, searching for something always exciting hoping to fill the void. The search for the meaning of my existence never ceased. Have you ever wondered what would happen if you could escape your reality? Here's what happened to me. I know, can you believe it? Also just want to pause this real quick to address the fact that if YouTube does mute this, I do apologize. I'm, gonna dance, dance, dance and no I'm just going to mute the uh, music real quick while this does play simply because I do know that YouTube is very, very annoying with muting. So they'll probably mute this. sound again. Kara, I'm never washing this hand again. Looking for me? <laughs> David. <laughs> After you.
Wait. This is not the end. It has only begun. Hold tight. We're in this together. So, what exactly is this? Well, I personally believe that this is a metaverse that is possibly going to be created by AR Raman. Now, we don't get too much insights on this, um, but I do personally believe that this is going to be either... It's definitely going to be a metaverse, in my opinion, around possibly tokenized uh, music and also even artists. It's going to be very interesting to see what's going to happen with this. Um, obviously it's something that I've been following for a little bit of time concerning that I have been following AR for a while as well. And we already know that he was creating an NFT platform. So I do think that this is going to be not only an NFT platform, but it's also going to be a metaverse surrounding this platform all built out, out on Hedera. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. In my opinion, I think that this is something very, very interesting. Um, and I do think that it is going to lead the way for possibly mass adoption as well, considering that as we look at the amount of engagement, the overall uh, followers that AR has and, um, you know, his entire audience, guys, it is something very, very interesting. And outside of that, right, like there's a lot of major moves being made by Hedera outside of just, you know, finance uh, tokenization use cases. So definitely keep a close eye out on this, especially if you do hold HBAR. And with that being said, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, definitely leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications on. If you guys want more free content, you guys are more than welcome to follow me on Twitter and join the free Discord in the description below. And with that being said, guys, it's been Nick. Thanks for watching. Peace out.